friend. What's going on guys? Welcome back on this wonderful Monday today. We have Bosco Tech in their HSEL qual quali qualifiers. Thank you. So, sorry guys, we're still kind of tired for the A push test. We just had another one today. It was brutal. Pretty but bad. I, yeah, it was pretty bad. But, but, uh, uh, but at least it went well, like, thankfully. I Anyways, <laughs> welcome back HSEL qualifiers today. We got Bosco Tech facing off against the Terriers. The Terriers um, through, from last week, they're in first place. Bosco Tech's in eighth place. The top eight qualify to move on into the next part of the season. And um, coming off a win last week, Bosco Tech on Friday, they ended up going one and two last week with two losses Monday and Wednesday. But they had a very strong win on Friday coming back, beating off the Irish. Totally. Well, what do you have to say about that game, Luis? You were there. I was well, there. it was incredible. The clutches in that game were sick. Honestly, especially at the end game, Lemon proved to be a good standoff for Tristan, as Tristan is still on vacation at the uh, the current time of this game. Yeah. But still, Lemon has proven to be a great member of the team. He incredibly afforded anything that the team needed. But primarily, what I think was a standout for me was the improvement for last game, uh, last week. <sighs> yeah, uh, obviously, they just played full out great Valorant. Yeah, totally. They played defense well, they played offense well, and they won 13-3 to on Friday, which definitely helped their rankings. So, so we're going to move into the game now. The map is Lotus. So tell me, Jose, what do you know about the map? Well, the map Lotus, it's a very uh, interesting, intricate map. Um, like I said before, m the knowledge of the map and where everything is and how to move and how to rotate is essential for winning in the game. And let's just see as we progress through the match who knows the map better, who knows how to operate better. I mean, obviously, different teams are better at different maps. Yes. So um, we're uh, we're gonna see which team is better, the Terriers or the Tigers. We'll see. It will be an interesting round. Both teams rounding up into by phase. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. It could be yeah. a very frenetic game, or it can be a slower paced game, as yeah. it was demonstrated with last Bosco Tech's last game last week. Yeah, uh, Bosco Tech starting off on the defending side. I mean, as we said before, Bosco Tech is more of an attacking, centralized team. But last week they did prove they can they can play defense well. So let's see how they improve there. Um, obviously the map here has my mark, yeah? three different places to put the spike, dude. Three different um points. So let's see how they compensate for that if they'll split or centralize on one um on one uh spike area. Moving into the buy phase, going in, and first round starts now. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm very excited as well. Uh, looks like most of the Terriers are centralized near A, A site, and they're kind of split up the forces. There's three near mid and two in left. Some action going on already. Moving into 124 into the match. We have Bosco to kind of split up their forces here, kind of sparingly as um, the Terriers are kind of all stuck together, kind of um, yeah, doubling up here. They appear to be more close to one another. More, d it appears that the team is doubling, yeah. as I can see, and Bosco takes a little more separate for the moment, but we'll see. Uh, things can change when action starts, so we'll see how the round goes. Bosco Tech looks to be checking corners at the moment. Yeah, just a very, uh, very calm for match right Oh, here. first kill! <laughs> first kill already by the Terrier Zero with the uh, swap there, and uh, already the... Uh, Redlands are planted. Spike planted. Spike's planted just like that 4v2 match. Let's see if Boston can take this one out. Not looking good, Jose. <laughs> well, they can bring it Last back here. Oh, oh. Alright, All right, says Rascal with another kill. <laughs> and Lemon down there. Strong start here for the Terriers. And uh, very strong going up middle and attacking okay, middle. And Luis Get us to a good position very and aggressive I'll round, Jose. It appears to be that Terrier has a very aggressive style of play compared to Bosco's more aggressive style of play it looks to be very similar we'll see how the round goes maybe Bosco Tech has a good advantage of knowing that aggressive style but we'll see yeah already starting off you can see the just the carriers taking initiative here and um, just doing them just uh, just pushing middle kind of taking their time but then when they attack they attack strong that's for sure sure round starts terriers mostly near sea site Concealment and also tech moving over, roaching over to the back here. And some action already. Down goes Sim Macha down again. Already 5v3 with no no answer from the tech as they're gonna rotate over to C trying to compensate for the possible terrier terrier planting. Arrow goes down. Spike planted. Didn't know they Last were there. Down goes Lemon and down what goes. What a Zero. round, dude. 
strong opening for the Terriers there, and they only lost one of their members that's taking down the rest of Bosco Tech, and very strong. It's not looking good, Jose. The uh, Terriers getting a good eco economic or economy for the first few rounds. It looks to be that Bosco is starting a little slow, but it's still the earlier rounds. We still are uh, get to see what Bosco Tech will develop into in the later rounds, but still, a good start off for Terrier, and it looks to be that they have are very adjusted to what Bosco Tech is playing at the moment. So, uh, looks like uh, the Terriers are going to stack here in, in the middle near B site as Bosco kind of splitting up between B and A site. A oh, little bit on C, and Simp's going to hold this here. Yeah, down goes one of them. Oh, what a kill by Matcha! Matcha with a kill trade by one of the Simp Terriers. with another kill! Arrow with a kill. BB2, what a play! Last player standing. Zero holding it. Last one alive here. 2v1. On Bosco on the downside here, holding that. You're gonna slowly advance up, holding on B site. Spike has n Spike has not been planted yet. Just as yeah. I say that, <laughs> terriers are gonna plant. Oh, you kind of condemned it there, Jose. It's yeah. kind of doomed. But it, what do you think about the extinct that we just saw? That very clean extinct where both teams lost a, planted. Um, a great amount of members in a quick snap of time. Oh, what a kill! Down. Goes zero. Very, uh, looked, Boston looked a little better that round, but um, still lost. Yeah, still. Totally. They they need I think maybe commit a little more, kind of adapt to the um, play swiftness, style. Yeah. yeah, swiftness of the Terriers. Terriers are looking very strong, and it's looking that Bosco Tech is slowly adapting to their play style as they performed incredibly better than the first two rounds of this turn. Yeah. So we'll see. Terrier has the advantage in economy and also at kills. We'll see how Bosco Tech leads this round and if it can, it can be a turning point for a good victory later on. Hard stack by Redlands on B side and it's all chaos going middle. Arrow. The ultimate goes up on the wall there. Zero. Chaotic ex exchange there, Jose. Yeah, in the corner. Oh, cannot check his corners there. Zero goes down. Spike planted. Spike's been down, been planted. Oh, what a kill! Arrow, trying to pop up a gadget there, ends up recovering very quickly and gets the kill. Macho with another kill there, evens it up. Now 4v3, the first positive player count for Bosco Tech this round. We spoke too soon! Yeah, he? now it's even all up now with Spike down. Bosco needs to uh, make note he of that. needs spike. to make a move. The Spike is a very crucial element. Oh, look away too quickly and just... Last oh, oh, whoa! Booney with, Booney with two kills. Booney with two kills there. Matcha, last remaining. Can he clutch this intro? He cannot. Bosco Tech, four in a row. Very, very strong for the Terrier. Yeah, Bui especially is looking very strong for the Terrier team. He took out, I believe, a triple kill, uh, triple kill, excuse me, folks. So we'll see how, th how it goes. It's not looking good. Terrier is having a good strategy, but can Bosco Tech adapt to that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of rounds left to be played, yeah. right? A lot of rounds left to Go be played, so Basu can bring this out. Like I said, they're an attack central team, and even though their defense is kind of lacking right now, they still got that uh, switch where they can yeah. go on attacking side and um, show their real colors there. Right? Things can totally change. Hard stack by Redland on near C site. Basu taking note of it. Full rotation. Sim that takes all the gadgets there. Terrier is spinning down. Bosco zero with the kill. They're gonna hold that door there. Arrow down. Down goes two Bosco members. Four v three. Simp. Ah, planting. What a kill! Nice stink there. Headshot Spike by planted. Simp. Spike's been down again for the fourth consecutive round in a row by Redlands. Looks to be that Bosco Tech is trapped against the corner. Nice. What a kill! What a trade! Immediately. Good kill by Macha, but a double kill by Fierv there, and Bosco Tech's gonna lose another round again. Totally, and yeah, so a very a very well-implemented trade there, as the uh, Terror did not have the fear to sacrifice members to win the round. It was a good strategy and good planning by Terrier. Yeah, as we can see, look at the credits already. It's just a very, tells a very one-sided story. Bowie just can't, uh, owning the match there, eight kills, and only three deaths there was compared to the Boscos, even up five deaths from all their members and two kills from most of their members moving into the sixth round. Besides, Terrier is holding a greater economy than Bosco. 
Okay. Looks to me that the, the round is starting a little slow. It looks like Bosco is taking a more cobbler approach thanks to the Chariot's more aggressive plays. But will this give them the advantage? Looks like a little split there, a little calmer approach by Terry in comparison to the last round. And... Oh, I would... What do you think, Jose? What do you think if... Oh! Rascal with the kill on Macha there. Do you think this more cover approach will help him out? I mean, they're just picking off Bosco one by one there. Bosco going with the split there. Another pick off. Just Bosco splitting up their forces. is kind of not working in the ground here. Arrow. Trade oh, shots. Headshot. There. Trade shots are a good dink by Arrow. Simp and Arrow with Blinding. getting kills to bring them back in the match. 3v2. Yeah, they, 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 can, they can still savage this, salvage this here. Yeah, it's like in a 1v1. Too late. Too late too soon. Terrier's fear with the double kill at the end of the round there, and you six unanswered them. by Bosco. Totally. I mean, as Honestly, we said before, this is a first place team. The Terriers are first place in the qualifiers, and they are definitely showing it. Yeah, it shows now. Uh, Bosco Tech with the timeout. Totally necessary timeout. Yeah, very crucial. Timeout. So, uh, Luis, within the first six rounds, it's been a very one sided match there. So, what do you have to say about those first six? Well, Terry is clearly dominating the round as it is more aggressive and more adjusted to what we know of Bosco Tech's playstyle. But it looks to me that they are clearly showing that they dominate the aggressive playstyle, or even perfected it in a way that they're moving in a coordinated uh, manner. They're moving in a very tactical manner as well. What do you think, Jose? They, the Terror is definitely playing like a first place team. They definitely know what they're doing, and Bosco Tech just kind of overwhelmed. Um, maybe they're expecting a little less, or maybe just kind of uh, underestimated how good the Terriers are. And six unanswered is pretty big. Maybe there, there's still a lot of rounds to be played. Bosco Tech still has the attacking side. We said before, Bosco is a very attacking central team. And maybe they can bring it back. I mean, a lot of game left to be played, right? Yeah, totally. So, e even though it looks bad for Bosco Tech right now, there's still the hopes to bring it back. There could yeah. be some great clutches. It's still very early on. Yeah. The game is still young. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, what, is, what do you think Bosco needs to put an emphasis on here? What do they need to do in order to be, be better throughout the game? Honestly, I would say play or improve their defense. They're yeah. splitting off. They're not using the advantage of defense. That is, that the enemy team has to go to them. Yeah. They could actually be the team picking off uh, Terror's members one by you one, but they're not completely utilizing that advantage. Yeah, Terror's are stacking a lot on certain points, and Bosco Tech's been doing the opposite. They've been splitting to cover up all the sides. So First squad by Zero. Great right shot there. Gonna use there. Oh, double kill. Zero with another grenade thrown out. Gonna pop off to the side. Could not snatch a third one there. Here comes backup by Arrow. 4v3 situation, folks. It looks to me that Zero is clearly balancing the scales for Bosco Tech. Looks like a little flanking maneuver here by Bosco. Simp on the corner here has eyes on one of the Ooh. kills. Good dink there. Great flank. Down goes Simp. That might open up a door though for Bosco. To move in. Spike has been dropped, so they still need to pick that one up there. And it's a 3v2. What do you think, Jose? How is it going for Bosco Tech? This is very good already. Just Arrow just showing up and uh, changing the balance of the match. Smoke goes down. Arrow's going to move in a little Slowly cautiously. Approaching. Cautiously here, just try to 30 seconds strafe left. the corner. Oh, what oh, what think there? Oh, trade there. Still 2v1, Macha holding that smoke, kind of interrupting their viewpoint there. Seeing shots go out. Bowie has low health. One shot will probably kill him here. At least he will yeah. play shot. Trying to wall bang Macha there. Knows where he is. Counting down the last 13 seconds. And what a kill! Bosco Tech with the win! Way to bring it back, Bosco. Way to bring it back, Bosco Tech. After that timeout, definitely showed that they went yeah, over yeah. some stuff, changed their changed their tactics a little bit, and obviously zero pivotal person in that match. They're getting a double kill there and really forcing the Terriers into one zone where they can be flanked and just ultimately just waited out until the timer ran out. Yeah, it looks to me that Captain Mayor utilized or saw those points that we talked about in the Rye phase. It looks to me that they are slowly adjusting to Terriers' more aggressive style, which is incredible as they can change the, they can change the pace to favor Bosco Tech. Yeah, great. Great round there. Let's see if Bosco can bring it back and use that momentum um, to steal another round here. But yeah, but can they keep that momentum? Yeah, uh, Terriers, cat, very usual move here. They're stacking up again on A and Bosco Tech. I mean, they're well aware how much they yeah. stack up. They don't split a lot. Bosco's splitting a lot, leaving one of their players at C. Um, it's looks kind of kind of a standoff here. Yeah, the Mexican standoff maybe, yeah, but it looks to be that it's working out for Bosco from the yeah, from I mean, the past round. 
As a defender, you can just wait it out, right? Yeah. It's up to the attackers to really push up and plant down that spike to give them more time as shots rang out. Indeed, that's one of the attributes or benefits that you can get as a defender. Down goes arrow. Great trade by Zero, Zero. there. Zero, good trade. Another trade, Tolan with two, double kill already. 4v2 situation here not favoring Bosco. Spike is being planted. Snip. Spike planted. Knows that there's some enemies there. Knows the spike is there. Matcha with a kill. Simp, another kill. Simp. Oh, 1v2 situation. Couldn't take another kill there. Big crucial moment there. Matcha holding that heaven there. Has a little high ground. Knows where both players are. And he's kind of trapped here amongst the spike. Looks to be that Matcha moved from heaven to hell. Holding down the lower position. Fear. Oh, just missed both of his shots there. Good strafe by Fear there to get the kill. And Matcha couldn't bring it back. Spike's going to detonate. And into eight rounds. Uh... 7-1! Uh, 7-1! Bosco, Bosco has shown signs of promise, but it's all about consistency, right? As clearly dominated, Bu Bui is still dominating the round with 11 kills. Also, Terrier's economy is looking greater or better than yeah. Bosco Tech's, as they have access to better weapons. Currently, oh. no, uh, not a single member of Terrier's team holds a pistol, and some members in the Bosco Tech team are still utilizing pistols. Yeah, just just trying to save up for the next round. All of Terrier's team also have their ult act ready and active. So. Zero good shotgun kill there. Early start. Let's see if they can bring this back here. First blood zero uh, is a honestly a, the king of all first yeah, bloods yeah. here for Bosco Tech. They're very aggressive. Starts out right, and usually a first blood by zero shows great promise for the rest of the round, right? Exactly. Sib taking taken down by Rascal. It looks to be like as you mentioned, Jose, zero is being a very important key factor for Bosco Tech as he is balancing the scales with Terrier right now. Yeah. Moving into the minute of the match, last minute, 4v4. Down goes Arrow there, changes up. Spike is being planted. Spike planted. Again, Terry utilizing the spike. Hard stacking on the site there. They all just gotta do is just wait out. Smoke goes down. Zero's gonna throw down his gadget there. Looks to be that both teams all ho are holding down their positions. Strategically waiting for the other team to move and make a mistake. Well, now see the Terrors are playing defense. Here. Yeah, and they just got to get the spike down and Bosco got switch stances and play offense. Macho with the trade there for, uh, with the zero. Oh, good kill. kill there. Oh, too late. Kill too soon there, and Terrors gonna take another one. Yeah. I'm starting to notice, Jose. Terror as Bosco Tech is not as good as a defensive team. As you see, when Bosco Tech usually picks up the kills, is where Terrier is at the defensive, or when Bosco Tech sets the pl uh, flank Terrier from any of the sides. Yeah, moving into the couple last rounds here, Bosco Tech, I mean, they just gotta, I think, overwhelm Terrier, uh, Terrier Blue yes. here and just get them get more, like, to freak out, right? And exactly. split, split up and they can just pick them off one at one and just kind of. See if they can use that going into the ninth round here. Very one-sided. Bosco Tech won one match early on after their timeout. Great comeback there. They cannot stay consistent I've though. Got your Let's hopefully they they can pick it up. Yeah. Full what a stack, kill! Full stack on C there from you Redland. Run. Simp avoiding some great heat by Perrier. He's gonna retreat back. Smart move there. Don't want to give him any other kills that they don't need. Simp get, getting chased. Spike has been planted. Spike planted. Looks to be that kill again. Not gonna get revived there. Yeah. yeah. Again, Jose Terror utilizing the spike to its fullest. I believe they planted every single round. I yeah, believe. almost every single round they've been planning on the spike and being very aggressive, planning the spike and then pulling up straight up defense on the spot. Look at that rotation wise, just covering all ways of entry, just knowing where everything at. Two kills, Packers. Again with the victory, Terrier dominating the matchup. There's just no, just no answer there from Bosco, like I was saying. They're, they're holding all the spots, knowing where to look, knowing where Bosco's going to enter. And of course, strength in numbers is obviously key, especially when holding down the spike, right? Totally, yeah. It, it looks to be that Terry has utilized the spike to its fullest, as I previously mentioned. They're, I think that's the key factor right now. Yeah. They changed the pace from the them being on the offensive to then change it to the defense so that they can wait out and basically take out Bosco Tech one by one. Yeah. The Terry's been stacking like in almost every one of their attacks to the plant, right? So, and this is no different. They're moving to B here. 
Macha there, moving, retreating back. Smart strategy by Macha. They yeah, don't want to give him any more kills here. Any more credits either. Planning down Spike again within the first minute. Spike's planted. been planted. Arrow, taking the corner, waiting for something to happen. Smoke being goes oh, out. Misses, misses the shot. shot. Macha with oh. the trade. Fear with the trade on Macha. And Fear, double kill there. Fear, triple standing. kill. Just shut down that attack by Bosco in that little corridor there. Simp, oh. no answer. Fear of owning the round, owning the match, along with Bowie there. And just, they are showing that they are a first the place switch. team. And last, last round, round before, before the swap. It looks to be, again, that, that kind of, those I little details are kind of affecting yeah. Bosco greatly as it looks to be that they're getting a little on over um that's just saying nervous yeah. in that situation where they could have picked off that one member from Terrier's team but they, when i believe it was uh who got eliminated first was yeah. it i think it was uh i think arrow that got eliminated first it was arrow uh matcha and simp together all yeah. or not simp arrow matcha and zero all together in one area they're kind of doubling up which sometimes helps but yeah. just able to get picked off yeah especially if they're not reacting fast enough to kill the one in gava trade right yeah um Moving into the last round before the swap. Bosco, desperate need of a win here. Just try to bring something back. Lemon stun there. Full stack there from Terriers on A. They've just been full stacking. Yeah. Every time on the site. And plant within the first minute. Again. Very, very usual. <laughs> very <laughs> usual for Terrier now. Yeah. Again, utilizing the spike to its fullest. But. Ah! Oh, Cy Cypher's with the kill. Bowie, Bowie too. Another kill. Same with a kill. Stun there, nice shot, and with that stun, he goes down. Arrow. Okay. And zero, last one remaining there. Last player standing. Arrow, goal. last one remaining. Can he steal a kill here? Oh no, my he god! Just knows where everything at. Nice counter strafe there from the Terriers, from Cypher, and I just think. Switching sides. The, the boss is playing really emotional right now. Yeah. And when you play emotional, mistakes can happen. When you try to force things, mistakes can happen. Yes. Totally. They're getting scared. They're feeling angry. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it looks like a tough situation, but they need to calm down. Now that they are switching to the role they know the most, offense, they can now utilize what they know most, use it to their fullest. They need, But they need to calm down. And yeah. it looks to be that the team is emotional at yeah. the moment. We'll see if the following rounds, which are crucial, will finally give Bosco the change of pace that it requires to win. Yeah, pistol round here. Nice fresh start for Bosco. Maybe just come back, win a round here with the pistol round. And here we go, first round for the attacking phase for Bosco. Yeah. Let's see how they play this here. Full stack, very Let's similar see. to Terra's. Gonna full stack B side here, but uh, look at that rotation by Terra's. You can see one of the Terra's is gonna flank here. Let's see how that's gonna oh affect the round. Oh my god! Good flank. Is that look gonna change anything for the Terriers? One down, but flank doesn't work out, and Bosco Tech split up their forces. The flank didn't make him split up their forces. He kind of just uh, traded him his life away. Yeah, Lemon with the kill, probably even in the odds. Yeah. Lemon again with the kill. One well, of the rare times this game that Bosco has a positive player ratio against uh, the Terriers. Yeah, it looks to me that again Bosco Tech is more used to the offense again. So, oh, Arrow with the kill. <laughs> 4v2 here, Bosco looking very good. If they can get and a spike down, that can very, that can help it. Remember, even though, oh, spike is being planted. Macha with the plant there. And Terra's kind of struggling, trying to now splitting up, realigning, figuring out what to do. Total. Getting the high ground. Having heaven. So we'll see, now the change, the paces has changed totally. Now Bosco Tech has the advantage, now waiting for Terrier's team to come to the spike and try to defuse it. Yeah. And pistol round going very well. Looks Smoke like goes out, Bowie holding that corner there, waiting for something. Spike keeps counting down. Looks to be Bowie oh comes in. What the kill? Mancha knows exactly where Bowie is at the time, just waiting for him to over overcommit and gets the kill there. And Bosco Tech, first yeah. off the attacking round looks very strong. T totally, it looks to be another having home advantage. Now they're playing on the offensive side. Again, it looks to be that they're growing great at offense, but we'll see. Terrier did know how to hold Bosco Tech at the beginning of the round almost perfectly. Yeah. If it weren't that Bosco Tech could have flanked, thanks to the map, they'd probably been a winning play for Terrier there. Yeah, they, I mean, the, the flank, even though it did result in no kills on Terrier's side, they did, they did end up splitting up their forces for Bosco, which almost ended up in a bad situation. Bosco able to bring that back full. Full stack here on A. Oh my god, what a dynamic match we're having here, Jose! 
Very. Placing swarm grenade. Sniff going swarm down. Out. Going down smoke here. Lemon. Both holding that corner on the stack. Again, another flank by the Terrier. Smoke, but no! Get Zero down. goes down in the smoke and just immediately. Oh back, my god! Back to back to back Ace. kills. Thrifty for sure and. What an answer back! Oh my god! Last, what, a, what an answer back to that last round and Oscar Tech stuck in a corner here on match point. They have to win. It's it's, it's a must win here and geez, winning off the round, you're feeling confident, you're feeling good, and then they just show that to you, right? Totally. It yeah. looks to me that Terror just told him, okay, calm down. Yeah, was, we're in control here. Yeah, we just. We'll just give you. We'll give you that round there. So you don't feel too bad, but well, yeah. no. Maybe that overconfidence may cost them the round. Yeah, I mean, just Terry just kind of jingling the keys in front of them, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Like, and match point here, things look very bleak for Bosco. Yeah, they, their odds are not in Bosco Tech's favor. Full stack on B could be their final. I think he gets spiked down earlier. Arrow gets shot from the side from that revolving door. Tim. Arrow with the kill! Arrow and Zero, excuse me! Arrow and Zero with the kill there. Good trade by Colin. Still on the positive side. Matcha kills Fairv. And it's a 2v1, Jose! Hey, in this situation, I want Matcha in this situation. Oh, good shot! Good dink. Good dink by Matcha. Spike's gonna get planted. Great move by Matcha there with a minute. Getting him more time. Just needs to hold this. Matcha. Oh! Trade shots there. Spike's still down. This no! is shot. How to reload. The round is over! Wow, Matcha, he thrives in those moments, just couldn't get it done, missed way too many shots there. And Terrier Blue is gonna take this game from Bosco Defenders here very win. quick. 13 to two, looked like last game's ma last Friday's match, because Bosco's on that receiving end of that loss, and devastating. Yeah, totally, devastating loss. Hi, Bosco Tech, excuse me. Look at the, and just look at the leaderboard here. It speaks for itself. Rascal 16, Bowie 16. S yeah, totally. Like, a lot of the members of the Terriers team with 16 kills. Oh my fair, god. Fair Bowie and Rascal with 16. And look at that assist by Bowie just owning the match. And Terrier Blue showing that they're, they are a higher place team there. Also, and again, Jose, look at the plants. Yeah. Terror with a total of 11 plants compared to Bosco Tech's only two plants in the entire game. Yep, just Terror just showing up and immediately right off the attack, they're planting Spike within the first minute and establishing defense. They're, they had an interesting strategy there, just going when they're attacking, they're establishing the defense. Yes. They understand the map, and like I said earlier, they know the map. Whoever knows the map better and knows the rotations better, will win and obviously in that attacking round from the Terriers they knew that map and they knew every quarter every entrance that Bosco was going to use and they end up st taking that win there and yeah still this is not the end for Bosco Tech as there, yeah. as there is still some couple matches for Bosco Tech to qualify yeah. but if Bosco Tech wants to qualify it needs to improve on what happened today it needs yeah. to improve its defense it also needs to improve planning the spike yeah, they just had a lot a lot of stuff to improve on. I think Friday they came off that win, a little overconfidence there, of course, and there's a lot of there's some matches left to be played there. They were in eighth place, um I I doubt they're in that place now, but they can still <laughs> they can still they can still bring it back. So Luis, biggest pros and cons from Bosco's performance today. Again, I believe the biggest pro and it's take consistent for Bosco Tickets is offense. They've done a great job when it comes to offense, but today it demonstrated that there's a lot of cons with that. For example, overconfidence and emotion can affect the team. Like, I believe that the end at Matcha, even though he's familiar to have those type of clutches, because of the pressure of losing by a lot of big odds. Yeah, it was definitely weighing on him, that's yeah, for sure, right? Yeah, totally. Also, Spike. Bosco Tech needs to utilize the spike even more if it wants to win. The spike is a great change of pace. Like for example, in the defense rounds, defense is a good has a good advantage that it's basically that the enemy team has to come to you, right? Yeah. So utilizing the spike makes that change in pace, which can be key at some games, especially the ones that are if later uh, or taken more into the later rounds, which can be crucial because there is a lot of pressure going on. Everyone's already hyper focused, but yeah. still, those little mistakes and those little factors are key.
Yeah, the way I see it, uh, the Terriers were playing defense the entire game. Yes. That uh, from the from immediately within the first minute planning that spike to just playing, uh, just setting up a perimeter, setting defense, and they were very good at keeping the players alive. They were good at staying alive, and strength in numbers is always better, and they use that to their advantage, yeah. right? They always stacked towards every objective. They never uh, split up in any way. Um, maybe attacking they split up like one round, and I think they ended up losing that round. Yeah. But from that, they are very aggressive, and they were able to overpower Bosco. I just think um, also that Bosco had a, the failure to adapt quickly from the – because every team is different. Every team exactly. plays different. So you just need to learn how to adapt to each team, right? Exactly. I think I believe that that's something that also Terrier utilized and capitalized extremely well. As soon as they saw Bosco Tech adapting at the beginning, they immediately switched play styles to from a more aggressive style in the first two rounds to the more defensive and tactical style that they utilized throughout the round. Because they saw that Bosco Tech wasn't adapting. They yeah. saw it, it, it was working, so why change it? And I think that's something that Bosco Tech can also utilize. How they are adapting and using more technical and tactical techniques can help out the team incred incredibly. But we'll see. This is still not the end. Yeah, uh, a con from that last match is the credits, right? The eco, yeah. the economy, the right? Because because um, the Terriers getting those early wins, getting those kills, getting those plants. Because plants, you know, they get you points, right? Yeah, they give you getting points. Getting kills gets you points. Staying alive gets you points, right? So able to to gain their points and limit points for Bosco is crucial and very important that last game. So we're gonna head over to a interview today. From one of our fellow Ethan boxers. Kang. <laughs> yeah, interview from Ethan Kang, one of our fellow tech members, and uh, we'll be right back with that interview. We're back, folks, here with an interview with our player, Ethan Kang, also known as Zero. Tell me, Ethan, what do you feel about this game? How did it go? Well, it didn't go so well. We got 13-12. Um, it just, like, we got kind of lost towards the end of it. I see. They're, like, a, they're a much better team than us. So we just kind of got to just try to improve it. Yeah, totally. Improvement is something very important in this type of games, right? It's also, I believe, a... What do you think? Do you think this experience help you guys see what you are lacking for future games? Uh, I think it... Yeah, it can if we just take it in that way. We just need really need to, like, see different ways to improve from it. So tell me, how was the overall team? How did they feel about it? Uh, this is some leak into the comms, but pre in pre-game, we, we looked at their <laughs> team. We saw, like, their individual players. And like we saw, like they're on the radiant le leaderboards. We we aren't, or like two of our players are, but like we we need like we just needed the general just to get better. Well, yeah. So tell me, do you believe this was you gave it your all today, or was that something lacking? Like for example, today wasn't your day, guys. So tell uh, me. Um, I I feel like I gave it at all, but I don't think like everyone gave it all. I don't think I gave like everything I have, but I feel like I tried a lot. It's good. It's good. Not, it's, uh, not every day is a good day, as you may know. We also sometimes have some bad days. But still, I, uh, what do you think could be something that actually improves on, even for your guys' worst days, can still give a battle front for future games against prior teams on Terrier's level? Uh, I think if we just communicate way better and like keep our hopes up. Yeah, totally. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, so that's th that's it, everybody. Ethan, thanks for joining me. You did well, buddy. Don't dismotivate. Even though it was a hard game, you will still have potential to do better in the future. Take this as more of a humbling experience rather than a great loss. 
Okay, so thank you to everybody for joining us today. We'll be right back at some future games. Stay tuned, and we'll see you back.